Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Once again, I am Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I want to talk about the Apple leak shows how it uh, decides to repair or replace iPhones. Alright, so this is a little piece of information right from the Apple People's Guidebooks telling you what can be repaired, what can't. And up here we got the green. This stuff can be repaired for warranty. It looks like little things like if you get dust on the inside of your iPhone, but geez, this has got to be pretty old because the screen is all one unit. But then again, maybe some of the iPads aren't. But that's iPad, not iPhone. And over here we get uh, FaceTime camera phone misalignment. So in this case, uh, you, you can see the phone foam that kind of separates the front glass from the camera is coming into play. I don't know if that actually messes with anything, but they will fix it for you. Uh, single hairline crack to the front glass without point of impact or additional cracks. So if it's just one little quick crack on the side, they will fix that for free, but I have a feeling if that happens is maybe something with the phone and not something you did. Perhaps, perhaps. Anyways, uh, for only these conditions described in the green, the device is eligible for warranty service regardless of any accidental or liquid damage. So that's things that they will pay for. Things that they will work on, but you have to pay them for. Um, if they will do work to the unit, but you have to pay them if the little sticker goes red, meaning you drop it in water, clear evidence of corrosion, or uh, internal LCI triggered. Uh, any LCD fragment feature? I've never seen this happen before, but it looks like someone cracked it on the side so they're getting the dark. Uh, damage area due to laser contact with camera. I've never seen that before. Laser damage, but I suppose it can happen. Hairline cracks, uh, abrasion scratches, a little bend, or, oh man, that would suck so much if someone got something stuck in the charge port and you couldn't get it out. I've seen this happen a few times. I've definitely seen that happen. That's when the 3.5 mil headset breaks off in the inside of the unit. And they will not, they will not help if there is internal damage, uh, tampering or damage, mismatch between configuration code and color, size, or model, dis disassembly unit, non-Apple battery. I'm not even sure if I'd touch a unit that uh, had a non-Apple battery in it. Catastrophic damage. If it's too bad, there's nothing they can do for you, basically, is what they're saying right there. So this is some good stuff. Definitely good to know. Definitely good to know. You know, I don't think anyone cares if their units are pitted on the outsides. I don't think anyone's ever brought anything to a, into a store because of that. But I don't know. You never know. You never know. So basically, it is eligible for warranty service. Eligible for warranty service is one year. Everything Apple sells has a one year warranty. I'm pretty sure that everything you buy has to have a one year warranty, anyways. But that's what you got, unless you got Apple Care. So that's uh, definitely some interesting stuff. I'll leave the link in the description, guys. You can check it out. But it's good to know. It's good to know what they see. But again, this has to be really old because it's been a long time since they made a screen uh, that can that is possible of getting debris stuck under it. Anyways, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. I will catch you later. Take care.